know, so this is the cost of variety. We're now going to play a concerto. Um, well, I'm going to conduct it, somebody else is going to play it. Um, this is a very unusual piece. Um, unusual because it's a concerto for the viola. And even more unusual than that, it's a concerto for the viola that was written in the Baroque period. When the viola was e even more so than it, than it would appear today, even more of a second class system then than it is now. Um, we all, we've all heard these tales of viola jokes. Um, and they're all untrue because nearly all of the violas that play us have met are very sensible and very thought provoking musicians. I have to say that because I have some very close colleagues and friends who are very dear to me. We chose to play the viola, so I've got to be nice about it. Uh, no, this is a concert by Talman. Talman, the Italian composer, contemporary of Vivaldi and of Corelli. And the similarity between himself and Corelli was that they both wrote pieces, <coughs> along with a guy called Gimignani, on how to play the respective string instruments. There's uh, very little for the cello. Um, you were expected just to be able to grab a cello. Because in, in those days, we, we had no spike on the cello. So the cello was just held between the legs with no spike in. You just played the odd crotchet here and there in the, in the midst of all the notes you get in the bar, but there's a few extra ones that you get in the other. But uh, as I said, Telman, Gimignani and Corelli all had, had very distinct ideas about how one should play. And if ever you get the chance, folks, to have a look at some of these books, because there are facsimiles available, um, of, of, and some of the pictures are, are just outstanding. <coughs> if you had a student come to you playing the violin like that today, you'd wonder where on earth they've had their early, early lessons. I mean, the violin down around here, with the head pointing that way, and the bow going over this way somewhere. Um, but, you know, very entertaining. Um, this, move, this concerto is called, and usually in four movements. Is that right? It is four movements, isn't it? I keep forgetting. Um, yeah, it is in four movements. Um, and it's a quiet match. We don't need it. Okay, I'll put it on. Okay. I'm going to make some stamps. Oh, it's a bit of four movements. Starts off with a foot with us, but. The reason why I say four or three, because the, the opening is a bit of an introduction, isn't it? You get this, it's very typical. Um, at this time of year, you'll hear a lot of Corelli's Christmas concertos. You've heard them on the radio. And then they always start uh, with, with this kind of slow introduction, as if it's like, there's a concerto coming, so please, can you all take your seats now and have a, you know, put your mulled wine down and take your seats ready for the main event, which will be the Allegro, which is coming up in a couple of minutes. So, four movements played beautifully by Emily. Thank <laughs> you. 